Okay, came out uh, to visit two real life heroes. Um, we talk about the front front lines and down south is an obvious one and up north is another, another front. But there are fronts all across uh, this land and maybe none more um, important, at least uh, for me personally and many of those who know these two heroes than where we're sitting here uh, with Ari and Jeremy in Arugo Farms. I'll take you for a, a walk in a little while. But these guys, you see them wearing wearing their madim on their madim because they have to sit out uh, uh, in patrols and, and go around to keep themselves and their families safe and all these families that are living around them. Uh, so get to know two real-life heroes, guys. Shalom, everybody. Welcome to the Judean frontier. Uh, it may look very militant, but really there's a kadusha here, a peace here, a serenity here. And uh, it's, uh, you know, the chayalim that have been coming out here, Jeremy, this, they, they're like so moved that they say just breathing the air out here has been changing their perspective on the entire thing. Right? Didn't they just tell us that on Shabbat? They did. They did. It's true. Um, Ishayahu Navi says, Be'ita achishena. That Hashem is going to bring the redemption in its time, I will hasten it. And that's seemingly a contradiction. Either that it's going to be an appointed time or he's going to hasten it. And... I understand that now in a totally new way. And it's like we really have to choose redemption now. We have to choose the redemption. We have to choose to become the people that Hashem created us to be. Either we can choose the redemption or the redemption is going to choose us. It's going to force us to become more courageous, more giving, more loving, more self-sacrificing. So if we can just dig down deep to the wellsprings of the eternal koach of the Jewish people and unleash that in the world, I don't think that the Hamas realize who they are messing with. And they're soon going to get to know the God of Israel.